Hi everyone. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for all the prayers and the good wishes and everything that you uh, guys uh, did for me this week. So there were a lot of comments and uh, that was uh, really nice of you guys to do. Uh, the thing is, um, guys, I'll, I'll keep it really short, but a lot of people are, are, are kind of wondering why I had the PET scan. Um, two years ago, I had a sort of a, a little lump on the, on the right side of my rib cage, and um, it happened to be uh, cancer, so they, I had an operation, and everything turned out pretty well. Then they found something here in my uh, thyroid, so they took away half of my thyroid. They found a little bit of skin cancer, everything. I've had a lot of stuff going on. And this is just my um, checkup scan. So um, I, I had that every six months, I had a checkup scan, and now I'm going to an annual checkup scan. So that's uh, two thumbs up, and I'm pretty happy about it. Okay guys, I've got a lot of stuff going on but I can't show you right here because it's all on the table and um, so I'll be right back and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to be doing this weekend I got a lot of stuff coming up so um, see you in a bit okay guys I'm um, going to uh, talk you through what I was uh, doing all week so first off I want to thank all my sponsors because they are very important for me to continue doing this so thanks all for your donation so your sponsorship I love you uh, all all <laughs> very much all <laughs> I love you all to pieces like I always say um, the thing is, what I'm going to uh, let you um, walk through with me is this. This was the background for the um, the wooden panel thing, cradled wooden panel. So I did the background, and I was pretty uh, blown away by how beautiful it was. And then I, I sort of got a, a creative block, because all of a sudden, I just did not know, you know how to do this what I was going to do, how I was going to make it. So then I started doing some alcohol inks. As you can see here, all kinds of stuff, trying out stuff. Here are those little glitter things. Or well, this, this is foil. I put some foil on just to see how that would work out. Then this one here, let's see if you can get you guys in focus with a little bit of foil on there, as you can see sort of um that was sort of fun to do uh come on get in focus please there we go so um i was sort of making all sorts of patterns you know to cut out and put on here but when i was looking at this and i was looking at this this is so much more vibrant and it's really you know the colors just pop off while this is more muted as you can see of course, the uh, gold foil does give it a little gazam, but that's about it. So then I made another one with um, the gold alcohol ink. And that one doesn't show up just as well as the uh, foil does. Then I started to make something with these little cells all around. And I was thinking, okay, let's put some gold stuff on there. But pretty soon I was bored with this. So I didn't, didn't really like that anymore. So then I thought I'd do something really like, see that how that really bounces off and there's a lot of gold in it. I, I was thinking, you know, I'll cut out the shapes, put it on, but that was all, nah, I was thinking, nah, that's not it either. So then I moved on to more ink now this is color in your face these colors i am so excited about these colors because as you can see they really pop off the paper look at that so i made all sorts of swatches and all sorts of techniques dropping water on them later this is a bit from uh, the background here i don't know where that fits but somewhere it'll fit but I just love the colors and they are exactly what I'm looking for 
these effects too and let me get you in close then you can see what I see how it bleeds through and still keeps its color and then this going from dark to light and over to another color that really got my uh, creative juices flowing here's another one and then I made a really big one because I really wanted to see all these colors pop off um, I even had a little video about this one but you know I had met, made so many videos I even lost track of you know how many I made and which order I should put them together so I thought I'd just do one big video now so I was testing out all these colors and I thought that'd be cool see if you um, use this as the background and then take out a piece here that would really pop but then I'm <laughs> I'm going all over the place but then all of a sudden I thought no I want something to um, I want because if you put this and this is this is what a lot of people why they watch my channel because I take you through um, my creative process what I'm thinking and what I'm reacting to because sometimes I do stuff and then I react to my own you know thing I do so but then I was thinking you know this is so beautiful and to put this on top it's gonna distract from the background because this is also really really bright so then you know you'll have a tug of war um, thinking you know what is nice what is not nice um, is the background more appealing is the front more appealing so I did some more as you can see I spent the whole week on doing stuff and 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 looking for effects that I really really liked and um, it just didn't didn't pop up so then all of a sudden it hit me I thought hey wait a minute let's put something on there that just you know goes the, that the background is beautiful but also something that pulls the eye and is interesting so what I did was this I drew I drew this out and um, I painted it black put a tiny little bit of glitter on there as you can see that's gonna really pop up when I uh, pour the resin on top of it as you can see tiny little bit of glitter but then I was thinking you know just this of course beautiful and I would absolutely be happy with only this but I thought it needs something a little bit more and then I set on to draw an even better one because these are hand drawn and then cut so this one this is gonna be it I really like this one so there's as you can see there's a, a little bit of glitter on there which uh, it's gonna be really awesome once the uh, resin is on top but then again I thought wait a minute that's beautiful okay but I want a little bit more so then I made this this is the same background colors only I put some beautiful as you can see that is really shiny it's um, a bronze mica that I sell in my shop so the people here in Europe they know what I'm talking about really cool stuff so I thought I'd just put this there and then I missed a little bit up here so I took some cutouts and I put some um, copper leaf on them this is copper leaf and and the uh, bronze so I thought I'd put a couple of those things lay them around a little bit and of course I got seven of them because um, up to about 11 I think you always should keep um, odd numbers because that's sort of does it so I was twirling around with this stuff so I thought that's what I want this is it this is exactly what I'm looking for now in the meantime of course I was dinking around with sense angle as you can see I was uh, also adding a little bit of white you know just to bring out the highlights and stuff like that and sort of doodling around just trying to find something that would um, that I'd really like 
but I thought, you know, putting these on here, I might do one, but you know, it's, it, it doesn't feel that artsy to me. It's more craft stuff. So, um, I dinked around more with colors. Then I came up with, this is where I cut this out. See that? This is that beautiful uh, bronze mica. And I mixed it with a little bit of PVA glue. And PVA glue, as we all know, it dries transparent. And it holds the shine and the luster of this uh, mica perfectly in place, as you can see. So that's... Um, Instead of giving you like a really long video of me going through all these phases, I thought I'd just do one compact little video to show you what I was doing all week. Um, of course, I had a little bit of, um, you know, downtime because, you know, <clears throat> I've been waiting for the results from that PET scan for more than two weeks and that really gets to you. So I was a little bit down, but that's all gone again. So I'm up again. And I know we all have that, guys, right? We all have our ups and downs. So, but this is what I'm going to be um, sticking on here. To make sure that this doesn't bleed, I've already put one layer of uh, acrylic spray on it. And before I put the resin on top, I'm going to spray the whole thing with um, with um, a sort of a acrylic spray. Because... I don't want this bleeding because I've never done this before and you know I'm I'm not experienced in how this material is going to behave with the resin on top of it but as um, as you can see I had a lot of fun making all those little cards it was um, very therapeutic yes and then I I was going for even another one like this this is kind of nice too just at the bottom and I even had this one, but that's too uh, too much of the uh, that's too much of these little things. It's way too much, and I'm not even sure if I can get this out because that would take I don't know very long to you know cut out all those little pieces. This one's perfect, and I'm very happy with it. So there we go. And of course, the little one, this little one, I can always use this one on another one. Who knows? I might make a little couple of branches, a bit longer ones, put them on the side, put this one in the middle. Now, I'm not sure if you guys um, are into this kind of stuff. It's really easy to make, though. Um, I do it on my iPad. You know, I have one of those pencils and I can just draw whatever I want, so then print it and... Uh, that's what I did with this one. I just printed it out and you can normally cut this out and put it on, on your um, painting. But if anyone wants to um, know how this is done, I can do this on a computer. I can let you know. I can show you. So let just let me know in the comments. Right, guys? Okay. Now, um, this is going to be finished off. Let me put this away. But I did want to show you guys how I did the background. Because first I was really dinking around with a brush and all that kind of stuff, but that's really not needed. What you want to do is cut up a little sponge. So I cut two little blocks off there. Put it in the water so it can soak it up. Got to squish it a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to go for some uh, color. And I'm going to choose... Of course I'm going to choose bluish greenish no let's not do that let's do some pinkish purplish so here we have two sorts of i think this is a yeah okay we have three colors now what i like to do is just with just water just rub in the whole page just like that make it nice and wet And have a little light source going over it so that you can see that you've touched the whole whole piece of uh, paper, the whole sheet. Then I turn it around. Made a little mess there, but pick it up again. And, and why I'm doing this is because that way 
you can avoid the paper from bulging because um, if you do this on both sides the stress uh, will be uh, gone from the paper and there will be nothing to worry about let's see if I got everything of course the table here is a little bit dirty so you can already see it bleeding into the uh, into the uh, paper okay now um, I have the moist little sponges so the other one that's ready and I'm gonna start with the uh, purple one violet so that's that and all I do is really look at that is that beautiful <laughs> see that go that is such a beautiful color so intense and this is really all I do then I take the other one take the uh, the pink so I do make sure that you know the uh, ink goes into the sponge and then we put the pink on there we go maybe sometimes squeeze out a little bit of water as you can see here there we go now this is really really intense very intense colors and then we have the other one that is um, magenta and I'm gonna put that on the purple sponge there we go and put that one here it's almost the same color just a little bit darker as you can see and pushing into the wet wet spaces of the other color so that it'll bleed in that's uh, what we really like to see so when you want want it to bleed in all you have to do is pinch in this little sponge thing there we go and here you can already see what's happening you know how it's bleeding into each other and that's gonna make for some really pretty effects now the old palette knife I'm gonna turn around the paper and we're gonna go for a little bit of that dark again maybe put a couple of drops of water on top just to make sure we have enough and don't worry about these little bubbles that are going on that's uh, no problem whatsoever because they all disappear anyway I tried to get that effect you know um, I've seen people do that on uh, ceramics that they blow this um, bubble stuff on it and it leaves those beautiful marks but it just does not work on, on paper so uh, I think you need some um, ingredients to really uh, to really get it moving into your paper you can't do it on wet paper that's for sure okay so that's really all I did and already you can see here where the effects are running through what you can do is take a, um, a really big straw and just give some more effects uh, you can do that with the nail brush if you have one but just by blowing and doing uh, with a little with a straw you can see that it's already moving and it gives you some uh, really nice effects so I would like a little bit more pink over here oops I even dropped a little pink on there just to give it a little bit more intense colors And then what I did was pick up the uh, the whole thing with my little palette knife here it is and just let it bleed into each other like that sort of like paint pouring tilting it all around making it go together see here in the middle what yeah it's it I can, you aren't really seeing it like I'm seeing it too bad for that but 
once it's dry I'm sure I can show you how these colors you don't see anywhere where I'm you know pulling these this little sponge all you're seeing is all these colors merging into each other and I think that makes for for a beautiful background so I'm gonna put this one away and we'll just see what happens there and of course this is all wet now got to clean it off a little bit and my color is going crazy I see because I think it has it's getting into the reflection see that okay now what else am I going to do this weekend? Um, this I found on AliExpress. And this is really big glitter. Some, look at that, that's really big. But these are all sort of pastel-y kind of colors. And what I'm going to do is I have, I have glass. I have to cut my glass still. I'll do that this afternoon. And I'm going to use really light um, mica glitter stuff. Um, we have to um, understand that glitter does not color the resin and that mica does. So mica pigments, they also color your resin somewhat. And this stuff, this just floats in the clear resin. So we might be doing two layers, not really sure. But I have something really um, coming up that's going to be really awesome. So this is really cool stuff. I'm going to be uh, trying this out also. Okay guys, so you all know what's coming up. You've all been, um, um, I talked about what I've been doing all week. So uh, I think we can start off our pouring weekend. Oh yeah, and another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to be pouring Vallejo with PVA only because um, I heard that that gives some awesome effects. So that's what we're also going to do. And that's, maybe I'm, I should do that in Dutch. I'm not sure. We'll see. Love you all to pieces. I want to thank you all for all your good wishes and um, uh, and prayers, of course. And I want to say I love you all to pieces. Hope you all are well. Liebe euch alle. And I'll see you in the next video. Laters.